zomygodatcj.com. Oh hey guys, this is Clinton Jet from zomygodatcj.com. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the camera on the Nokia N900. Now, just to give you a little bit of info, the Nokia N900 has a 5 megapixel Carl Zeiss lens at the back with a lens protector, as you can see. There's a dual LED flash, uh, which is pretty good, pretty decent. Now if you open the lens cover, the application for the camera automatically opens up as you can see. The camera application uses the whole screen as a viewfinder which is pretty cool. Right at the bottom we have the number of pictures you can take, the size you're taking it at and the resolution. Um, this icon tapping that icon over there takes you to the uh, images application. Right here is where you can change the flash to red eye reduction mode, always on or always off, or automatic. Um, right here is where you select the scene mode. You can go to macro mode, landscape, portrait, action, or just go to video mode. And right here are your camera settings. This is where you can choose your white balance, the exposure, the ISO sensitivity, and the resolution. Um, you can either choose high resolution at 5 megapixels or you can go with widescreen resolution uh, which we are currently at right now. One cool thing about the camera application on the N900 is that it remembers your settings. So right here you can see we turn the flash off. If we close the camera application and then open it back up again, you'll see it remembered our settings right there. Which is very very useful when you um, want to take pictures in a certain environment and don't want to keep the camera application open all the time. But um, for some people who are used to having all the settings refault, uh, for some people who are used to having all their settings reset whenever they close the application, like on most N-series phones nowadays, which are in Symbian, yeah, this might be bugging for them. As for me, I pretty much love the fact that the camera actually remembers this. That's pretty much the basic UI of the camera application on MIMO on the Nokia N900. Tap it once and the little bar appears right there. You can tap the top of the bar to get to more settings, like general settings, uh, where you can choose what memory use you want to uh, use. You can also choose your um, time that you sort to capture the image for or the name uh, which you want to save it by. You can also choose to geotag your images by going to geotagging right there. Uh, likewise, you can switch it on and off to geotag your images and videos. Because if you feel like you messed up something, you can just go back and restore settings to restore your camera application back to normal settings. So taking a picture is basically the same as other NCS devices. You have pressed the little camera button over there, let it focus. When it focuses, you'll see the bar turn green, then press it a little bit harder and it will take the picture. As you can see, processing time isn't too fast. Uh, it'll show the image, allow you to s use a couple of options like sharing it and all over there before it disappears and takes you back to the viewfinder. Of course, there aren't as many options available as the uh, N-Series other Symbian range of devices, which could be either a bad thing or a good thing depending on how you use it. Personally, I do not mind that at all. The N900 takes really good pictures. Switch to video mode, all you have to do is tap the um, scene mode over there and tap on video mode. Um, the application automatically goes to video mode as you can see right there. You can also um, choose to edit a couple settings for the video mode uh, or go to your video um, application by tapping on that. So yeah, video again is almost the same uh, as most NCS devices, except on the N900, you are allowed to focus on the video uh, before you take it. As you can see, focused right there, press the, have, press the little button over there and it starts recording video um, according to how you focused it. Once you stop taking the video, you can choose to share it over there, add tags to it, or delete it before it goes back to the normal viewfinder again. Now when you set the n 900 camera to action mode over there, you'll see the little autofocus uh, icon disappears because you can take the image. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for the camera on the Nokia N900. As you can see, the Memo 5 UI actually does really help with that. Uh, for more applications, if you have any questions about Nokia n 900s camera, do let us know in the comment section below. And of course, if you want more information on this, do check out our post on zomagatcj.com.